I think uh, performers often make really great directors because they yes. understand what it's like to be on set, be in front of the camera, be yep. in that position. Like, you know, honestly, in a way, like I've never been a performer, like in a way that I will never understand. You know, I mean, I try to be a good director and I try to always make sure that I'm, you know, tuned into the girl and I make sure that, you know, like I'm on her level and I know like how she's feeling and, you know, but like ultimately I will never know what it's like to actually do it scene you know what i mean or be in that situation yeah i mean yeah i mean the on camera is definitely a little different than sex at home (laughs) just a little just a little but yeah but i mean but you understand because you also i mean you've you've shot you have pictures you've done Mm -hmm. naked pictures yeah yeah that we released accidentally even though nobody believed me it was an accident it's okay but like (laughs) (laughs) no no yeah it's this total act all my an accident what you guys I seen know, it? See, you're one of the people what? who doesn't believe me <laughs> no 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 i believe you i do I it's do. fine i don't really care yeah no who cares no you looked hot that's all Thanks. that matters so years ago. well whatever <laughs> <laughs> most of our stuff's like, i still promote scenes from five years ago i was like i look how cute and small i looked but yeah even just for performers like knowing like how their body looks better mm-hmm. posed and like yes. little things like that and like what feels better and what they think you know and being able to play a little bit more freely i think is it is so much fun and that's why even like as a performer like I love when I'm given direction but in certain times of the day like if you just tell me to like you know do my thing I get really excited mm-hmm. especially if I'm working with people that like I trust and who enjoy what they do as well so it's so fun for performers for that perfect storm of everybody just like playing off of each other yeah what's your favorite kind of character to play because you've done a lot of like superhero mm-hmm. stuff I have recently, recently. yeah, yeah. Um, I love that because it plays so much in into fan fantasy like the extra side of fantasy where you really really can be like whatever you want to and I'm a little bit of like a, especially when I was younger like a, a comic book video game geek mm. and especially because you know uh, I mean I, I, I'm an only child of a single parent like we I grew up like around like a lot of like poor kids and kids in the system and and there really is like that magic that comes attached to that because it really those kind of characters show that you really can be whatever you want to be mm. like you know you can come from nothing and be something you can be nothing and be powerful powerful like you can save people save the day in some way you can help people if you mm-hmm. choose to so i mean i love those characters because it it really is like it really is the fantasy of you can do anything be anything have fun and then especially if you attach that to sex like i yeah. think my favorite superheroes would have like the best sex one not they yeah of course superheroes they're superheroes. Yeah. So, I mean, I love playing characters because then you can really take that somewhere. Um, but, I mean, being able to play like a real raw person is so is so fun, too. I almost feel like I've had less opportunities to play like real raw in like um, people like that had like a lot of crazy shit going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would love to almost do more of that. People ask me like, what kind of roles would you like to play more of? I mean, I'd like to play more roles where maybe I'm not so pretty and polished. Mm. I like that kind of stuff. I like seeing like where a character can go from, you know, A to B to C. And yeah, I'm like, I don't think you always need to be like perfectly polished to be sexy, to be powerful or to tell a story. So like you were saying earlier, when it comes to like movies being more intricate and deep, like I like that a lot. Though granted, like I started my career like as like a gonzo girl. Mm -hmm. I shot like literally probably like 300 gonzo scenes like within my first few years. And I will always say that is the bread and butter of like this should matter like it they, there should be some connection it should look hot it should get people off but like there's so much you can do and say and show people and with that kind of uh intense and environments like if when mainstream movies like if they actually had scenes in them right 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 yeah but i don't you know all of it's so fun i love to just uh be able to explore and just play like mm-hmm. just give me something give me like a character and i'll like and i'll go with it i think i think that's just fun so do you prefer doing feature films over Gonzo or do you like both equally? You know, I like both equally for different reasons. I would say it matters who's shooting it and who I'm working with, like yeah. you're saying too, yeah. like not to call anybody out or yeah. any of that kind of stuff. But Everyone's got their favorites. For sure. But yeah, yeah. yeah like uh, I love to work with certain people for certain things. And there's people that I haven't worked with that I'd love to work with more. Um, but but yeah, I mean, I hate to say there's something that I don't like to do. There may be certain contexts of things I don't like to shoot. But the world is a very interesting, big, deep, dark, sexy place. Like I, I kind of, I want to try it all. You yeah, know, as long yeah, and it's, this is a, something that you can weave into almost any story. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like 
there, there's nothing I really don't want to do that's like in the context of telling a story. There, there are certain scenes that, especially when I was newer, and this is something that's kind of changed a little bit in the industry too, is people are more accepting and giving like the freedom to people to really choose what they want without a lot of like stigma. Because mm. I remember kind of when I first started, like the first few years, um, oh God, how do I word this? Um, <laughs> you know, people were like, oh, if you don't shoot these kinds of scenes with these people for these companies, are you really a star? Mm. Are you really hardcore? Like, it, I didn't never liked that necessarily. Mm. So, I mean, that my whole thing is like, do whatever you're comfortable with that makes you happy, that you're proud to promote mm-hmm. is a big thing that I tell to people. Like, it, you know, yeah, I don't know how much deeper I want to get into it. You know, I don't want to put <laughs> I, my foot in my mouth, I but you know you. what I'm saying. Yes, it's I know like, exactly what you're saying. Now it, it's less of like an, oh, you do that or you don't do that. Like now there is much more of like a, an open, like, no, it's preferences, it's comfortability, mm-hmm. it's like what people are choosing to do and how they're promoting themselves and their brand. No one has to do anything in particular anymore right. to be a star or right. to grow their fan base. The best thing you can do is your own thing. Yeah, be true to yourself. Yes, exactly. So that I feel has really like grown and developed. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.